This is Dan and welcome to Sean Union this week. And this week we're going to take a little video that I stole from uh, Matthew Stern. Um, he has this really cool channel where he just tries out different lenses on cameras. And when I saw this video, I'll play a little bit of it. He puts like a really old lens on a DSLR. Um, he does a pretty brute force method and I use a similar method, but I'll go over my method really quick. But so what kind of shutter I'm using? I'm using a Seneca shutter and this is an Italian shutter made for an Italian folding camera. I found it in a dollar bin at um, Wolf's annual dog sale and it was a great deal. Um, I picked it up just for just to have and then I eventually used it on this project. Again, I use a similar method to Matthew. I put it onto my bellows and then um, I tape it with some gaffer tape. I'm using a pretty high quality gaffer tape that I'll link to in the description. Um, you don't want to mess around with gaffer tape. You're going to use it for a lot of stuff. So get a good one. And this is um, really good for me. So here's some of the test footage. You're seeing these early shots. I shot it wide open just to see. And um, the issue is it's pretty soft. So I wouldn't recommend shooting these lenses um, wide open. I did have to go and post and add some contrast into them. They were just really soft. So the one thing I would recommend if you're going to go into this is to get a lens hood of some sort, be with plastic or a paper one, just something that covers, that can cut down on the light and that's hitting the lens. So here I'm comparing the left and right. The left is wide open and the right is stopped down a little bit to f8, f11. You're going to see in the right hand video, um, much sharper. I'm not shooting a lot of photos. I don't shoot much photos now, but I do a lot of videos. So this is how I was comparing this lens in terms of quality um, at these different apertures. So here again on the left, um, wide open at f28 and with contrast added, the same amount of contrast you're going to see. The image on the right looks a little bit better and a little bit sharper and you get much more details in my opinion. So here you're trading off on bokeh and sharpness, which is a trade off in every single lens, but um, it's really apparent in these really old lenses. And the thing is these old lenses are not meant to, um, were never designed to shoot video. So um, the fact that you can do this is pretty amazing, but going in the future, would I use this all the time? Probably not. I think I'd use it for special effects every once in a while, but it wouldn't be something I would be employing all the time. So. Hope you guys enjoy that video. If you guys want to support this channel, I have a donate button and I also have an Amazon affiliate link in the description. Um, but I will be back next week with another video and I think it'll be on Vintage Lenses too. So please check back then and hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye.